Hey guys, Finn Phantom here. Um, hope you're having a fantastic weekend. So, uh, today I'm going to be doing another presentation on one of my Lego mocks. Yes, it's on another dinosaur. I've already done one on a Spinosaurus and the T-Rex from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, so Rexy. Today's going to be a bit different. Um, the Spinosaurus was featured in a Jurassic Park film, although not my version. My version is more scientific. But I'm about to do a little dinosaur about the size of a crow, and it has not been featured in any Jurassic Park films. I don't think it ever will be. But it's a very fascinating creature. It is called Microraptor. This is Microraptor. A Microraptor was a pretty strange dino. And it was one of the dinosaurs that, well, helped with the evolution to birds. Um, it had lots of feathers. It pretty much was a bird, technically. Well, yeah, it pretty much was a bird with all its feathers. I could take this thing off. It pretty much was a bird with all its feathers and all. Of course, no dinosaur like back then could fly yet, but Microraptor was one of the smaller dinosaurs that used feathers to glide. Something unique about Microraptor that I really like, kind of how I chose to make this uh, mock, is that, you know, it had flight feathers, like most birds have, you know, flight feathers on their wings, so front limb. Some dinosaurs, like the little ones, had it. But here's the unique thing about Microraptor. It also had flight feathers on its legs. As seen here, like, I don't have it in a walking pose like it normally would. I have it in, like, a gliding pose. So, of course, we have the front arms, um, those feathers here. I used minifigure hands for fingers. Um, let's see. Yeah, and these are, like, the back legs with the flight feathers, and I use these as feet. These uh, little hose pieces as feet. And that's kind of why I like Microraptor a lot. It's so... So unique. Amazing. It made for a good project. Alright, so let's get into some build features. This video is probably going to be shorter than most because there's not too much going on here, but we can still do it anyway. For the head, I have a black clip joint on this bar here, which uh, attaches to the head. Let me show you how I did the head. Alright, so the head, I don't know what you call this piece, but it's one of those pieces with studs on pretty much all sides. There's a stud right here, 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 here. That's how I, that's what uh, let me put on so many pieces on the head. And uh, since it was kind of looking weird, I put a 1x2 under it to give it a little better look. Alright, the body. The body is nothing special. Um, it's supposed to be sleek feathers down here, and it's just kind of a bunch of black bricks with some, like, of course it had the bars for the hind legs, and it actually had uh, technicals for the front wings. So, uh, let's take a look at the wings, speaking of that now. Okay, so there's actually a hole on both sides right here, you see? And I used this little uh, ball joint, but then I found this piece. It's like a ball joint, but it can go in. It's a Technic pin, which fit the build very nicely. Um, and I did it on the other side, too. <coughs> Excuse me. And the, for the back legs, we have... I'm not, I'm not too proud of the structure for the back legs, but here's what we have. This is what attaches the back legs to the body. It's a little clip joint on another clip on this little tiny wing piece with this hose. When you looked at it like this, it's, you probably don't think Microraptor leg at all. And it still doesn't quite look like a Microraptor. I cannot talk. 
and it still doesn't really t look like a Microraptor leg, but I mean, it still works. And when you look at it, kind of think about it. It does. The tail. The tail was just another bar with um, this clip here, but then I took like a bunch of one by one bricks and at the end I did a one by one brick with a stud on the side and took this big old slope piece and I put it right there. It's supposed to be like a uh, tail. I don't know what you call it, but there's just like a bunch of feathers at the end of the tail to make it look prettier. Maybe attract some mates. Keep the species going. Alright, so I didn't quite mention this, but all the black pieces are supposed to be feathers. Scientific studies, we know that Microraptor was about the size of a crow, but it also had similar feathers to a crow. It, it probably didn't have a beak. Um... I couldn't really make a mouth, but so I did a beak. But Microraptor was one of those smaller dinosaurs, even though it didn't have a beak, its mouth was very similar to a beak, and it was kind of what it was a vault that was like the evolution to the beak that we all know with modern day dinosaurs, aka birds. Where'd he go? <laughs> Sorry. Um I He's up gliding now. Sorry about that. I've actually made this uh, stand for him right here with one of these clear rod pieces that holds him up. Kind of makes him look like he's, you know, gliding through the forest. <coughs> Which is the look that I wanted. Alright guys, that's going to have to conclude my video for t today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you liked the video. And have a nice day.